somebody said to me um, that they liked the way I did my, my eye makeup. And um, I just thought that was super sweet. I thought that was really sweet. And so I remember thinking, well, I need to do a half and half of how I used to do my makeup. And then right after I thought that, the Facebook, it was like the next day, the Facebook memories came up and there was a, a video of me um, doing the service that I used to do with my dog, Rin, the therapy dog service. And I was talking to the camera about how we were going to do our service. And I, I was looking at my eye makeup and I was like, dang, I used to wear so much eye makeup. And I didn't like it. I, I thought it looked, I thought I looked old and dated and I was just horrified. Um, and so I wanted to do a kind of, this is how I used to do my makeup and this is how I'm doing my makeup this year starting. I started doing lighter makeup in 2020 after the um, pandemic hit and we were all working from home. Um, but I still love makeup and I was still doing a lot of makeup um, looks because I, you know, love beauty, health and beauty, and I was getting ready for pageant. And so um, I still had a lot of fun um, sort of eye makeup looks particularly. I don't wear a lot of face makeup, but um, but I still love the makeup. So, so I had this reality of the fact that I, I didn't really need that much makeup because we were working from home. And I also realized that the more makeup I was wearing, the more it was really making me look old. And, um, also making me look like one of those people you see who are still wearing like blue eyeshadow from the sixties and, <laughs> and just not, just not, not that there's anything wrong with blue eyeshadow. No, no, no. But the idea is that they're not sort of moving forward and trying new things and keeping their mind open. An open mind is, is a young mind, is a young body, is a young face, is a young person. So, um, so that's what made me think of doing today's look. So I'm just gonna do my brows a little bit because that hasn't really changed. I still use the It Cosmetics, um, the It Cosmetics pencil. The, the uh, Brow Powerful is what I've been using for a while. I really like it. And um, I'm gonna get closer so you can see. And I just basically go over my existing hairs. Just kind of reinforce the look and tidy it up with the pencil. I do also tint my my brows. So once a week I'll do a brow tint so that I can get away with a little bit less um, brow pencil because again, it all applies. You know, the less makeup you're wearing, I think, I think, this is my channel, so it's kind of me thinking, I think you look younger, you look fresher. Um, I have always, this is gonna surprise people, I think. Um, but the secret is I've always wanted brown eyes. I've always sort of hated my eyes because they're so um, kind of invisible. When I get into a bright light, they just disappear. They're not warm and chocolatey like brown eyes or even dark hazel eyes. They're kind of cold in the color of my eyes. So I've never liked my eyes. Um, when I got a little bit older, I realized, oops, I realized that other people liked my eyes, my eye color, because they're kind of um, an unusual blue-green, and they're very, they're very clear. Um, the same thing that I saw in them that I didn't like, other people liked. So I thought, you know what? Stop being so hard on yourself. That's another part of beauty that you find when you get older. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna finish up over here. Now I am um, peeling a little bit. I just went up in my um, 
percentage of tretinoin in my curology prescription. I, oh, that's a little thick. Um, I just increased, or I requested that the, the dermatol, <coughs> excuse me, that the dermatologist um, increase the dose, which she did nicely. Um, and, sorry, my eyes are watering. <coughs> that invisible thing you get in your throat. So I'm peeling a little bit. I'm sorry if you see that. Um, that's a little darker than what I really prefer. Um, I think probably because I just tinted my brows last night. So the Brow Powerful brush is so great because it's universal shade. They call it a universal shade. The lighter touch you go, the lighter the, um, the application of the pencil and the darker, you know, the heavier your hand, the darker, you, you know, guys. Um, I, I can only speak for me. It, it kind of matches my, this is my natural shade now because of pandemic. I haven't had my hair done in, oh my gosh, since July. So at any rate, so this is the base look. Okay, so I'm gonna do my left eye with the traditional way I used to do it, and my right eye in the sort of modern way. Um, that modern way. The, the way that I've been doing it in the last year, I would say. And you can decide which one you like better. Okay, so this is just a little brow mascara to keep everything down. in his crate because he was going a little nuts with the, one of the neighbor dogs was going by. This is the It Cosmetics Perfect Lighting. This is what I use to kind of give a little bit of definition. I wouldn't say it's, it's cutting in my brow the way um, some makeup artists do it, but it is um, a way I just go along my hand, back of my hand, and I just pounce down, flatten the brush, And I, I'll do this for both sides because this is a, almost like a foundational. I will always do my brows, even if I'm not wearing anything else. Um, that's, to me, I think brows are the modern, the modern lipstick. Just a strong brow is super youthful and very pretty. So I just go along, if you can see here, I just go along and touch, just touch. Again, if I need to, I've flattened the brush again on the back of my hand. So I've got a nice razor edge there. And just come along. And then I sort of sweep down like that. Okay. And then I just brush in a little bit. And then just touch in to blend. Touch, touch to blend. And you can see the difference. It just kind of tidies everything up. I might go in and just smooth this out just a little bit so it's not a harsh line. So it just tidies up the, um, the brow line. Okay, same thing on the other side. So again, this is gonna be the same for both brows, or for both eyes rather. Sweep down and then just pull down. It's kind of like a Bob Ross painting. Just pull down and then pounce, pounce, pounce. Pull this down a little bit. So then you've just cleaned up that brow. Now what you can do also is go back at the brow bone, couple clicks on the pen, go back, see if you can pick up some more of this product and this is a brand new pen, so I, I buy them in like groups of three so that I'm never without. So I go back over, I lay some product down on my hand and I go backwards to pick up a roll of, of the um, product and then I just 
go right along the edge here and just push it up into the brow just to give an extra bit of highlight. And then pat, pat, pat to blend and sort of pull it down just a little bit. Now you can really see the difference. Um, and again, I just lay the product down on the backs of my backs, on the back of my hand. And then with the brush, I just move through it to pick up the tiniest little bit of product, just like a, like again, like a Bob Ross painting, just like a scalpel edge of the um, product and just deposit it along the brow line. Just push it up there and then just tap, tap, tap. And to me, that's almost like a done look. And then I just sort of rub it in because, you know, <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> um, okay, so that's brows done. Now we're getting into the eyes. Okay, so I use um, a couple of different palettes, I would say. I'll show, you, show them to you. I'll show them all to you. Um, okay, I use the Dior um, Backstage Eye Palette. I also use the Wet n Wild My Glamour Squad Drugstore Dupe for basically for this. These are, in my mind, very similar colors. There's shimmer, there's um, a copper in there. There's, I mean, literally these are, this is the drugstore dupe for this. And this one they're carrying in the drugstore. They keep buying it, ordering it, whatever you want to call it. Um, they keep it in stock, thank heaven. So um, if you want to get it, I swear it's there or it's on Amazon and I'll put links. If it's still available, I'll put links in the um, description box for you. Okay. All right, um, so I'm gonna start with this eye because I'm gonna do them both with the base. So the base never changes. I'm using two different kinds of brushes, a Sephora 205 brush. Sorry, that's sort of backwards or mirrored. And then I also used the Scott Barnes um, 62 brush, which is really lovely because you almost, you can't see it really, but it's just tapered in such a way that the brush kind of does the work for you in a strange way. Okay. So I'm going to use the Scott Barnes and just give you the base on both eyes first to figure this out for you. Make sure I'm not wasting any extra time. All right, you'll be delighted to know I use bronzer for my eyes as an everyday look. It's bronzer on my lids. So when I got that nice compliment comment about how great my eye makeup was, um, it it's always um, bronzer. So what I use is the Bronzer Brightening CC Powder, and this is in Sunny Flash. I put this down first. This is what it looks like. And then I go over it with the Hourglass um, Ambient Diffused Bronze Light, and I think Oh, I'm sorry, it's Ambient Lighting um, Bronzer in Diffused Bronze Light. And I'll put the link below just in case I'm confusing you, which I might be. Okay, so here we go on both eyes of the base. All right, so we're starting with the By Terry. And I literally just, I mean, you can see, I just go right in the middle, pick up some product and just sweep it over 
the lid. Now, if I were doing makeup for um, pageant or for special event where I needed it to stay for hours and not move, I would use a, um, I would use an eyelid primer. Now the Dior Backstage comes with an eyelid primer. This is the eyelid primer. I'm not gonna use it today just because I don't, I don't use it on an everyday basis, so I don't feel like it's an honest test. Whenever people this year have complimented my eye makeup, I haven't used the um, the eyeshadow eyelid primer. So I want to kind of do a test for you that is exactly to recreate the same circumstances. So this is just, I start in the crease and you can see, I just bring the brush all over the lid and just up a little bit and I'm very, you can see I'm very light on the brush and I do come down like this very lightly just to kind of open up the eye. Basically meet the end of the brow under like that. Okay, and again the other side and you can see, tap out the extra, you can see already it's making a huge impact in terms of how it opens up the eye. I really don't know what I was doing all those years, putting on so much eye makeup. Um, I, I guess I was just sort of finding my way. I think the, the greatest advice that I would give to young women and men is you have to try everything. You just have to try everything. You won't know what is the best for you and you won't be able to get to the next step unless you follow your curiosity and your own heart. If you like something, try it. If you don't like it, don't use it anymore. I mean, that applies to makeup, that applies to food and clothes and, and everything. Okay, so now I'm going in with the, this is less, um, sort of red. There's a red tone in the Sunny Flash that I really like. It With my skin tone, because I have a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red, I have rosacea, um, it tends to, browns tend to go purple on me. I don't know why that is. I can look at a beautiful brown from any maker of eyeshadow, put it on my eyelids, and it goes like an eggplant color, which is fine, but what I want is a very basic neutral, like a rich, warm brown to bring out the paleness of my eye color. So the Sunny Flash is, even though it's kind of on the red, you can see it's kind of on the coppery side, um, it's, on my eye, it tends to go kind of brown. So you really have to try everything. So again, I just pounce around in the pan, tap off the excess, and then just wipe over the lid, wipe over the lid. Okay, now this, this eye, we're gonna leave it because this is, this is the basic look. I will just add a little bit of liner and some mascara, and this is my everyday eye makeup in 2020 and 2021. Okay, so I'll put these away. And then I will bring out, let's do, let's do the Dior. I think that's fun. I haven't used the Dior in a while. And the last time I used it, I used the, um, quite a few of these kind of shimmery shades. So today I'm gonna use this um, matte brown, okay, to try to replicate. And then also this one down here, because y'all will not believe, you'll just wait. Okay, so as I said before, I never have really liked my eyes before. So I think the reason for that is, as I said earlier, the paleness, you could never see my lashes, you couldn't really see my brows. So I just was like a face with a big nose and a little jaw. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of hair and my face just I would look at my face and I would just be displeased so I would think the more makeup I wore the more people will see my face I don't really know there's so much psychology behind what we think of our faces and what we do to improve them 
but this is what I used to do. Okay, so I used to go in with this dark shade. I'm gonna go in with this shade, and this one is the sculpting powder. So that's about what we need to do. We need to sculpt it out. And I'm gonna pick up quite a bit of product. Tap off the excess, get my mirror. And this is this 40205, as I said, this is the crease side of this brush. Okay. And I'm gonna go straight over my eye because again, I want to kind of create an open eye, but I also wanna keep the bigness of the eye as well. So I'm going straight in to the crease and I'm just kind of wiggling around. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then sweeping down the crease. And you know, I think the sort of the secret in makeup, just like anything else, is the kind of the refining of things. So the more you sand wood, the more beautiful it gets, right? The more you um, prune your, your roses, the more beautiful they get. Um, when you're working with makeup, the secret is to constantly be just smoothing the edges. So that's what I'm doing now, I'm just smoothing the edges. And basically what I've done with the bronzer in this look is I've created a transition shade. So this is the base look, the everyday look, but on this eye, the bronzer is creating a transition. So it's not just like brown in the crease. Now I could stop here and I would be perfectly happy with that, but because we're doing replicating looks, I'm going to go, oh, sorry bumped you a little bit. I'm gonna pick up the Scott Barnes 62 again, since I'm not gonna use it again on this eye. I'm gonna pick it up. Y'all, I'm gonna do it. Oh God. I'm going into this very dark brown. Um, on the palette, it is the, the matte smoky brown. Mm, it's very smoky. And I'm just tapping a tiny little bit. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm, I'm just, I don't want it all over the brush. I really just want it at the top of the brush so I can control the product a little bit better. And with this, I'm going to go at the very edge of the eye, the very, I used to do this every day, y'all. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of a V in the crease and along the outer edge of the lid so that it creates a kind of, you can see already between the two looks, it creates a kind of shadow wing effect. So the very edge of the lid in the crease a little bit, and blending, blending, blending. Now I'm gonna bring it down a little bit onto the lower lash line. I think it's a mistake, especially for women of a certain age where your eyes just get smaller as you get older. You just can't get away from that. That's just the way we age. And the more you put darkness up next to the eye, the more it closes in. So I really, in the last few years, I have worked really hard to keep makeup and mascara, etc., off my lower lid. And in fact, I will actually put, um, a liner that is, it's actually a contour pencil but I can't find it right now. It's a contour pencil set, but you can also use these that are meant for the brow bone. And I will actually put that on the inner waterline here to make my eyes even bigger as possible because there was a time when I would use a black pencil on the inside waterline right here 
and on the outside. And then I would put mascara. Oh my gracious. Okay, I'm gonna leave this lid without this so that you can see the difference between the two looks. It's funny because the more time I have today working from home, I have like an hour um, added to my day because I don't have to fight the traffic in the town where I live. So I do less makeup. I could do more makeup if, um, <laughs> since I've got all this extra time, but another great palette that I use and love is the Tati Beauty, Tati, Tati Beauty. Um, this is the Volume One Neutrals. I'll put the link below. You can see I've used it quite a bit. She has this giant, gorgeous mirror, and then she has all these gorgeous shades. I've had so much fun with this palette, y'all. She really, I mean, she's a makeup artist, she's a YouTuber, um, but really good quality palette. I'll put the link below. Okay, so this is the basic shadow difference between the two. I feel already like, like this, I feel like I look older with this one. Comment below. I feel like I look fresher with this one, but let's put on a little bit of liner. Just gonna do a little, little bit. This is the Guerlain, Guerlain eyeliner. This is an excellent eyeliner. The one thing I've noticed with the, this style of brush, which I love, and this handle is long and lovely, like another great um, beauty tool, is that you get product on this top part of the tool and it tends to deposit itself on your, on your lashes and then it can go anywhere from there, which I don't love. Okay, so I'm trying to prevent that by looking down into the mirror. It's not really helping, but you know, you do what you can. To prevent a negative result. Yeah, I'm still getting it on my lashes, but oh well. Life is messy. Okay. I'm gonna do a little more over here. Just to bring some more definition to the eye, okay. Now, I would also normally um, curl my lashes, but um, you know what, I'm gonna curl. I'm gonna curl, eyelash curl. And we're gonna do by Terry. Lash Expert, Twist Brush Mascara, and we're gonna do the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara as well. The L'Oreal is a dupe for the By Terry, and um, I love them both. I did a, a kind of a mascara shootout um, um, over New Year's, and uh, you can see that up here, over here, or over here. <laughs> um, so just do a little bit of a, a lash curl. I just use an inexpensive eyelash curler from um, Target. And what I like to do is I like to start at the base and curl. And then I sort of walk up the lashes to the ends and then curl the very ends as well because sometimes you can get a little bit of wonky eyelash ends if you don't do that. That's just what I do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with the By Terry mascara as a kind of a primer almost. And you just put it on. I start at the base. It's funny, I was gonna say put it on like you put mascara on, but sometimes there are people that are on YouTube because they've never 
put mascara on before. So basically you just take the brush and you start at the base and you just swipe up. Some people put the brush down and then they blink so that their lashes go through the brush. I tend to be more of like someone who brushes up and then sorts of sort of separates the lashes like that, okay? So, and this is the um, brush style. It's the kind of, it's not the spoolie style, it's the newer kind of um, style brush. I don't know what that style brush is. Um, I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. So that is both eyes with a base of the By Terry. Now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Unlimited um, mascara, just to kind of give the lashes a bit of an extra plump of mascara. The brush on this has got a little bit of a wider, oh, you can't really see, sorry. A little bit of a wider um, style and so it tends to pick up more product. So I go through um, the lashes at the uh, for my second coating with this brush. Now I could use the By Terry second setting. There's a twist style on that brush, which is really cool technology that I, um, I could do, but I wanted a chance to use these two high-end and low-end or sort of luxury and drugstore mascaras together to see, just to show you that there really aren't any rules. You really, um, that's the secret to life, y'all. I'm, I'm here now telling you the secret to life is there really aren't any rules. Okay, so I'm gonna go into natural light. I'm gonna take my hair down. Okay. So this is, there's not that much difference, is there? Can you see if there's that much difference? Oh, I should have put lip gloss on. I'm not gonna put lip gloss on. I think my lips are nice and rosy today. I'm just gonna leave my lips natural. Okay, so there really is not that much difference in the eyes. And this one took two minutes with just bronzer, liner, and mascara, and of course, brow pencil. Oh, and <laughs> this one took two minutes with just 15 products. Um, this one was much faster with mascara, liner, bronzer, uh, lighting on the brow bone, and a lighting uh, pencil on the brow bone and brow pencil. This one, I used several different shades of traditional eyeshadow on top of the bronzer. So what do you think? I... I like them both. And I think that is sort of the lesson of today's vlog post is find what you're happy with, find what you like, and stick with it. And then move a little bit away from it and stick with it and move a little bit away from it. I think, you know, when you torture yourself with, I should have done this, or I should have done it that way, or I should have done, Ooh, that's nice light. Um, you know, you just kind of torture yourself with shoulds, coulds, woulds. And that's exhausting. And exhaustion is a great way of aging your face. Um, happiness, to me, is one of the greatest beauty products that people don't realize. And peace, happiness and peace. One of those ways of, of having happiness is to have the funniest German Shepherd on the planet, right? Are you the funniest German Shepherd? <laughs> I sometimes have to keep him in there. That's the only place where he will 
have like traditional naps. So I put him in the crate for periods during the day so that he will nap and um, then that way he doesn't get overtired. When he gets overtired, and a lot of dogs are like this, he gets the zoomies, but he gets them like, he just pins the needle on the zoomie meter. <laughs> I mean, it's just real hard to get him to calm down. And then he usually ends up breaking something. Because again, he's a German Shepherd puppy. <laughs> and here he comes, hello! What you doing? What you doing? Can you say hello to everyone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that is today's makeup challenge. What do you think? Would you do this look or would you do this look? Which one do you think looks better? Oh, they're so close. Maybe next time I will do even more. I'll do like maybe like a stage look. But this is a great everyday look. Let me know what you think. Comment below. My name's Lynn. Subscribe. I try to post... The Swimming German Shepherd. <laughs> Norman and I both try to post... Norman, stop digging. Norman, Norman, Norman. What are, you, what are you digging for? Are you digging for gold? Okay, so thanks again for watching. My name is Lynn. His name is Norman. <laughs> Please subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Ring the bell so you know every time I post something. And 